going to do a shot here. Just a little picture here. Um, it's gone a bit cloudy. We're about a stop and a half down, perhaps, on where we were earlier in the sequence. And I'm going to use flash here to create a little bit of slash of light. I'm going to make it more of the night. So we're going to make the flash work a little bit harder. And uh, I'm going to rig the flash here. So simple sort of setup again as before. Manual flash. I'm going to use half power at about three to four paces. So I'm rigging the stand this way so I get a bit more space to be able to work with. A lot of negative space here potentially. Um, and uh, let's get this flash gun on. So manual half power. Um, I've got the, the, the trigger switched on here. Um, it's zoomed in, by the way, to 200 mil, as always. So if, if, if you're looking at the, the, um, the content of this video and then you're thinking, oh, what are the flash settings? It's all on manual. It's, the flash is always zoomed into 200, if it's bare-faced like this, with a, a, a simple trigger on here, which is a manual trigger. So it doesn't matter whether you use an eBay trigger or you've got something as sophisticated and expensive as a pocket wizard system. It really doesn't matter. When you're triggering manually, everything is even. It's a, it's a level playing field. Right, let's move on up. Let's get the flash rigged up here. Um, I've rigged this horizontally because I also don't want a horizontal slash of light. So actually, I'm going to leave that there. Let's see what that looks like when it's up in the air. Um, I'm going to have to go a bit higher still, I think. Um, it may be a little low. I'm going to have to have a little look at that. So the next thing to do is to stand in. Yeah, sort of pointing at my knees. Um, so I'll just tip it up a little bit. Some things in life are worth persevering with. It's worth sometimes getting them something really striking, a nice striking image, especially if you want to try and do something which is going to go big or um, it's for a purpose. Sometimes uh, I get a client will ask me, well, can you do a picture? I need a, a picture for work. I need a profile picture for um, uh, an internal document or something. Something like this is going to be great. It's going to have that punchy, funky sort of look, sort of magazine editorial style. I reckon that's ready to go. So it's half power, remember? So one, two, three paces at half power is going to make it much more punchy than four paces quarter power, which is my normal working method. So this is going to look much more electric. The ambient will get darker and I think because of the light we've got I can probably still work at f8. Um, let's use this. This is the Fuji um, X Pro 1. Switch that transmitter on there. Quick test. There we go. That's going. 125th at f8. Let's give that a go first. Um, what I need to do is have a look at the, the settings on the back of the camera that that little analog scale to get a sense of that. I need to be about minus three stops on here. Now this only goes down to minus two, but I can calculate the rest. So I'll have a little look. Um, and it's at minus two at f3.6. So let's try it down at f8. Give it a little test flash. There we go. The test flash is looking quite good. So the, the, the first shot, I've got a little light up there, but I think once Chris is in here, it'll be fine. I've also got a little bit of flare coming off that door. So I'll probably come this way a little bit and that will sort that out. Um, a little bit of that there. Put Chris into that, and that'll be fantastic. That's that. That's gold dust. That um, where you've got that little texture here, and Chris will just leap out of that. That'll be dramatic. Great, Chris. Can I get you to come in here? Uh, and you're just standing about here, actually, where that leaf is. There we go. Looking this way, okay. And you're looking. Yeah, be cool. <laughs> that's it. Just relax. Relax your shoulders. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, love it. Uh, and that's going to come into there. I'll just do a little frame there. Let's have a little look. Focus, reframe, shoot. Yeah. Love it. Straight away. Yeah, I've just gone in tight. And I said that the flash is just a third of a stop, maybe two thirds of a stop high on that. So I've gone from there. That looks great there, but I just am aware that I cooked it, overcooked it on the flash. So what I'm going to do is move the flash back a little bit. Okay? Um, because that's the easiest way. The easiest way to Reduce the flash power is just to move it back to here, like that there, that's all. So I just move it back a metre, half a metre, so that's four and a half paces there probably, um, which is going to be good. I think the ambient exposure was fine, so let's give this a go. Okay, Chris, just, um, just put one foot up on the, on, on the rail there, that's it there, just to like that. Yeah, I'm just looking out towards Joanna. Yeah, I'm going to shoot from below, that's nice. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. If you want to increase the ambient exposure on, in the mix, you just take the shutter speed down from a hundred, I'm on a 125th at the moment. If I drop it to a 60th, the flash power stays exactly the same, but the ambient comes up a stop. 
these little things are really worth knowing because you can just very, very fast, you can just change something without having to panic about what the, the systems that you're using. That's great, I love that. Brilliant, thanks very much, Chris. Okay, um, while you're here, actually, what I'm gonna do, Johanna, what, come on in, because while I've got the light rigged, I may as well shoot into the light as well. So can I get you to just put your legs apart, just snuggle on in. Okay, um, I'm going to shoot. We've been working at f8, yeah, uh, into the light. Well, with the light coming in, going this way, I want to crank it up a bit. Three stops, maybe. So let's take it to uh, f2.8. Um, and that's quite, it's going to give us quite a nice sort of feel. It, hopefully, it'll be a bit flary or it'll look like we've got sunlight in, in the picture as well. And this is a bit grey. So let's do it. Duncan, just get a little bit of distance between you. So you're just looking at each other. Yeah, that's nice there. Yeah. Yeah, and just look up and look at each other. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And a little frame here. Wait, 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 wait for it. Yeah, that's nice. And just go for a little kiss, yeah. Thank you, I'm gonna come to here. Use this viewfinder, that's nice. Yeah, and just separate about a little bit. And just come, just, that's nice. Lovely. And Johanna, just looking this way. Yeah, that's it, love that. I'm just gonna pull down until I don't get so much flare. Yeah, that's nice. And a little bit warmer, a little bit happier. Great, thank you very much. And, and another good, great thing of working with a, a camera like this, a little compact system camera, is when you're taking pictures, you're using the electronic viewfinder, you see the picture that you've just taken straight in the viewfinder, so you don't have to take an eye away from the viewfinder to see your pictures. It's just starting to rain, but while, it's, uh, while we've got a moment before it gets too heavy, let me show you back what I've shot. This is into the light here. Yeah, sometimes you get a bit of flare, quite like that. It depends on, sometimes you can pull things back like that in, in post-production, but uh, there's certainly, certainly something to play with. That's a nice shot. Yeah, just perfect. Perfect. Now I need to get a picture of you, Matt. That's my thing, because I've got one more of Nikki, so. Uh, Let's have a little look here. This is quite a nice spot. I love this tree here with this sort of ivy and stuff. And we've got sort of branches going into the water. So, Matt, you come over here. Actually, let's see what we've got. Let's pull this out of the way. Don't need that. Um, yeah, I can actually get a nice view through here. The light is coming from up there. Uh, but there's also another little bit through here. So let's have a look. We'll use that as a backlight. Matt, you come over to here. Either leaning on it. I don't think there's any spiders in here but maybe you could get into here and look in that way. I'll get Nick, Nicky, you come with me. Um, so if you set yourself up there, Matt, if you come through to here, I'd like you to be looking at each other. Because the pictures look really nice if you're looking at each other. That's it, you need to come to about here. That's good. Don't fall in. <laughs> yeah, looking great. So aperture priority, I think. Um, I'll go plus, ooh, maybe. Maybe two stop, no, not two. Um, let's give it a go, F4 plus one, let's have a little look. When I'm working with aperture priority on a mirrorless camera, um, I can just adjust the compensation to suit. And um, here's plus two stops, plus one stop, no compensation, minus two. And so the point is I can take, I can check my compensation and work out where I want my exposure to be before I take any pictures. So it's not a case of having to take a picture, then look at it, then make an adjustment. So I think that's gonna look fantastic. Just looking at each other, love it. Done. Beautiful. Oh, I better just check that for expression. Have a quick look at that. I think I might just caught on a moment. No, I quite like that. I'm going to get do one more. Okay. Three, two, one. We're going to head over here now. Um, we've got a bit of sunlight coming through there, which I love. Um, I just have the two of you here. I just want you just to be together. There's a fantastic view, and just be, just take that in. And I shall be a witness to it all from down below. The sun is just going to be amazing. If it stays out, great. If it doesn't, then I'm not too worried. Okay, I'm just going to head on down there, and I'll catch you in a moment. In a situation like this, 
it doesn't really matter whether the sun comes out or goes in. I mean, if it's out, yeah, everything feels happier and rosier. But when it's in, I've still got that definite backlight. And if I shoot against the dark trees, it'll be amazing. Now, I really sort of need a long lens for this, and I've got myself a 60mm on the Fuji, and it's equivalent of uh, a 90mm frame on full frame. So, 90 meters to Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. Quick lens change. It's always good to have a camera bag that you can change lenses without having to put the bag down because it just makes, it sense, makes good sense, especially if you're in woods or near water. Love it. Oh, I like that. That's great. I'll just pull that down. A longer lens, I tend to like to use the electronic viewfinder. Just looking at each other, you two. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, look at Guys, and just look out over, straight down into, into the vista there. That's it. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I'll pull the exposure down a little bit more. It's nearly minus two stops here, but that's the sort of thing it needs. That is lovely. Okay. Just have a bit of distance between you now. Um, yeah, just like that. Oh, I wish I was shooting this on video, really. Yeah, quite like that. Beautiful, beautiful. And I just come together and just throw your arms over Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll meet you at the top of the path here. Okay. That last shot and the lighting there, it was nicely backlit against the, the trees and it's quite a good vista. The rocks are glistening and I like that. Um, but you don't want to be too tight on that because the, their eyes are quite dark. So it's quite dark holes for eyes. There's not a problem in a wide shot. But in a close-up, actually, it's not so great. Okay, I've got this little cave here, we'll use that. Um, if you both come up here for me, what I'd like, Nikki, I'd like you just to come through, come around the back here. And there's a little bit of a, sort of an overhang here, but I'd like you just to sit here. And Matt, see where I am here, if you could be helping Nikki up. I'll get this nice lovely sort of diagonal dynamic, yeah. okay? Yeah. All right, so let me just get myself set up. I'm gonna need 800 ISO here because it's getting a bit dark and we're under the trees. Um, using a uh, APS-C size sensor means that I can get away with F2.8. Gives me the same depth of field as F4 on a 35 mil full frame camera. Um, so 2.8, 800 ISO, aperture priority. Um, it's nicely backlit, we've got sort of quite dark areas here though, so I would have thought maybe minus a stop, something like that. Oh, that's looking lovely straight away. Oh, I like that. Um, okay, just, um, that's it. Just, Nikki, just lean back a little bit more, make him work for it. And just lower your arms a little bit, both of you. That's it there, that's nice. Gorgeous, I'll just take that. Just looking at each other, yeah. Just do it, just make it happen. And just get, just, Nikki, just get up, pull up, that's it. Ooh. Love it, love that. Um, I just got to spot check that I got some sharpness because a uh, bit of movement. That's quite nice. I like that one. Uh, let's go back to a previous shot. Yeah, that's fine. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, Nikki looks like she's struggling a little bit there. Oh, that's nice. And that looks like you like each other. Let's just do it one more time. Um, because I think I can just change my dynamic. This time around, I'm quite happy with those shots. But this time around, I'm going to change the viewpoint slightly. Um, I don't want to go down too low because it makes legs look short. Yeah, I'm going to come to there maybe. That's quite nice there. Get a little bit more of the water in. That'll work. Just got to, just framing trees out of the picture so that they're not growing out of heads. That's lovely, that. Okay, and go for it. Up you get. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Excellent. Um, I'm going to come up around here because we'll go walk around this side of the lake. I'm sure there's some nice little areas there which we can use. Um, so let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> come on. In. Okay, we're gonna do a little picture just over here. Jana, come forward. Um, I'm gonna do a little shot here using this panel here. It's important to realise that actually when you're around in a city or in a space, look for small spaces, like this one here, just a metre wide, or perhaps even less than that. Uh, small places like this can make great pictures. So, Joanna, I want you to come into here. Just lean back into there. 
come that way a little bit. I know he's looking at me. Where's Chris? Where's he gone? Chris, you come over to here, mate. Um, I'm going to get you two looking at each other. There, it's quite, that's a nice line there. Um, I'm going to come into here. I'm working in manual on the camera. So the first thing I need to do is just take a little sort of test frame, get an idea of where we are. Um, actually, that's not too bad. 125th F4 400, which is where I have been on. Um, uh, and so I'm going to stick with that. Just come this way a little bit, though. Just there. That's it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at each other. Yeah, that's nice. Love it. And let's do one more, a little wider shot here. That's good here. Now, Chris, I wanted to get you in as well here. So let's bring you into here. This time, I want you to just come into there like that. Yep. Okay, all right. So we're going to put a little bit of attention. In fact, can I get you to take your jacket off? Because I think blue and blue will go well. Is that your size of your hand? Big hand? <laughs> Big hands. <laughs> Big hands. <laughs> Cool, I like that. Yeah, get into there. That's nice. Got a bit of a reflection thing going on here as well. Just looking to each other, ignore me. Yeah. Um, got an idea for this. Let's have a little think about this. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's bring this hand into here. Just run your hands through Jan's hair there. Yeah, that's nice there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go sneak hand into here. That's lovely. Okay, so I have a quick glance at my frames. There's a few frames here, which I really like. Yeah, so I've got a few frames that I'm, I'm happy with. I'm going to just work on through, carry on with this little sequence. Um, sometimes the background is a bit distracting, so that shot doesn't work so well here. Um, but then that's nicer to get into here. There's a little bit more something going on here. A, a line run, again running through the back here, which I, I find distracting. Um, but that's nice. I like that. I don't mind this little overlap of the shoulder on the chin. I think that's quite nice because there's an energy here. So as an over, over the shoulder shot, that worked really well. Um, and a little shot favouring Chris there. That's good as well. I'm going to do another one of these, but I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. Just make it just a little bit brighter and that'll be fine. So from 125th, drop it down to 100 um, and then shoot a couple more this way. So Chris, I'm just going to get a couple more shots of you two looking at each other. I'm just going to come into here. Yeah, that's it there. Brilliant. Chris, you come and lean up against the back there. Um, and Johanna, I want you to just, just to come forward again, and I want you just to rest your face just here, facing this way. And Chris, I want you to just slink down a little bit, Johanna. Chris, you get tall, get tall, 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 tall. <laughs> That's it there. And just rest your head into there, there. That's nice. And just hold that flat there, or maybe bring it to there. That's nice. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm working on this as a sort of very two-dimensional plane here but I've got some depth to the picture because I'm not shooting square to the wall um, and then I've got some oh that's good that's it excellent let's take a little look at some of these there's a nice energy here I quite like this a little bit of reflection that's quite good and then there's some nice shots here I love this just a little bit of crop and this slice little thoughts and feels there that's good a um, little bit of worried look here, and I wanted to change that. I wanted to get that warmth and fun into the picture. That's nice. Really nice. And then these are little shots into favouring Chris. Everyone's happy. Just have to give that a little bit of a lift in post if I'm going to use that. Don't know if I'm going to use that yet. So nice shots here of Johanna here. They're looking great. Excellent. Okay. Ah, it's got some great stuff. Lovely. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Right, okay, now I'm gonna get, Johanna, you're gonna be, it's a bit damp here, so I'm not gonna get you leaning up. Why is there any water? It's fine, I don't it's mind water, you don't mind. Yeah. Just think of it as being somewhere like Spain or somewhere hot, okay? Yeah, this is like a, just a lean into there. And then, quick, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, uh, I want you to sort of come, probably, probably from this side, just to bring your arms around, okay? It's like you're protecting, encompassing there. Yes, you're, that's great. I'm gonna come down and shoot down here. Um, I haven't got an exposure yet. It's going to be completely different to anything I've done recently. So um, I'm going to use the, the camera plate again. Have a little look. Um, half press the shutter. ISO 200 will be fine. F4 is good. Take the shutter speed up. This is going to be about hundredth of a second, something like that. Take a little test frame. I do all this in a sort of blink of an eye normally. And uh, I drop it on 125th and we're there. Lovely. Okay, guys. Okay, I just want you to just stretch. 
Chris, just bring the arm out a little bit. That's nice there. And this one here as well. So we've got a bit more nice little pyramid running there. Lovely. Okay, both of you just looking up to that cathedral there. And just have to keep that fun, that lightness. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to come back a little bit here. Um, I'm having to zoom with my feet because I'm on a prime lens. That's the, the standard way of doing things. I want to keep Chris's hands in the shot. That's nice. Lovely. And to look at each other, you two? Yeah. It's beautiful, actually. Really, really like that. I'm going to come in close as well. Just pop into here. Um, I don't want to sort of shoot into the sky, but I quite like this there. Just look at each other. Yeah. Just, Chris, come this way a little bit. Just uh, now look at each other so you can actually see. That's it. There's a few hairs running down between the two of you. So just on that side there. I'm not surprised. It's going to get a bit frizzy with the rain that we've had. So that's lovely. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm happy there. Come on down. Let's go and see where we can find a nice dark space to shoot in. Sometimes when it's sort of overcast and things like that, I do like to get rid of that top light. And sometimes the best place to do that is look for dark spaces. There's a little dark hole over there. And in and around the corner, I know that there's a bench and we'll use that bench to get some nice pictures. Let's take a look. Chris, I'm gonna get you to come over to here. Um, oh, it's not a bit of a strong smell, sorry about that. <laughs> Um, yeah, you do all. Oh, so um, come, come and sit here um, and just sit back against the wall and then Johanna, you're going to sit there in that space. Okay, okay all right. You'll be fine. Small space. <laughs> so, yeah, you can slide back, back a bit. Um, this way? Yeah, and, and then swing your legs around actually and bring your legs over the back here. That's nice. Yeah. And just, oh, that's nice. That's a nice look. I'm going to come back over to here. Um, just want to get, so what I've got here, I've just got to use the the x100 35 mm lens and it's just gonna i'm gonna work in this little vertical just look to each other that's quite nice there look at that that's nice and come over a little lower and you'll get the strengths of ge geog geography from the it, or those paving stones that's nice there keep everything upright beautiful just look at each other yeah feel that love you too yeah that's nice love it great yeah that's good let's do a little horizontal shot i'm gonna put a little bit more negative spacing on the left of the frame yes looking at each other that's beautiful. Yeah, that's great. And a little shot from here. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And a little one from in here. Like that there. That's good there. Change the viewpoint. That's it. Just run your hands up around the back of Chris there. There. Love that. And Chris, bring this hand across here. And just try and pull Joanna into you. There. There. Great. It's going to that up a little bit into there. That's nice there. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that. That was. That's, thank you very much. That's a, it's a good shot, but it's, I've got the frames that I need earlier in this. Just a wide shot, lots of space. Um, really, really simple. Take a look at this. So that was the last frame I, I did, and there's a little one here, which is quite nice. But there's not enough real connection here. Um, that's love it. I love that. The, the space here, the dark area and slightly offset so it's all on the thirds um, and then we've got that other little vertical here with the long strong diagonals into there that'll look great in black and white brilliant thank you very much if you head up there i'm going to go down here and i'll see if i can get a shot sort of through the leaves uh, up the path it'll look quite nice okay see you in a moment Okay, right, aperture priority 2.8, minus a stop, oh here we go, here we go, here we go, oh I'll get a bit of this in the foreground, hold it there just for me, just a second, I just want to just get the pre-focus, just come to there, that's nice, love it, oh yeah, just one moment, just come one step down, just coming to the light, yeah that's it, I can just see that now, just come onto there, beautiful, all right, could you just take a few steps back up the path and as you come down, just, just look at each other at that point and then I'll just get the picture. Great, okay, and action. Yeah, and three, two, one. And look at each other, yeah, thank you. Okay, I reckon that should look great. I'm just gonna spot check, make sure I didn't make a mistake. Perfect, thank you very much, come on down. do a little piggyback shot here. Um, I quite like the, the canopy of the beech tree. 
And uh, if we come back into here, we'll get that lovely light coming through and it'll just make you look fantastic. All right, so um, why don't we just use this area here? So Matt, if you just come down to here and uh, let's have a little look. Nicky, you just hop on to Matt's uh, hold away. Well, actually, wait a second. Let me just get myself organised because I've got to change lenses. I think I'm going to go to 50 on here. Um, ISO oh, 1600, maybe. Uh, a bit of movement, perhaps, potentially. So, uh, f2.8. Let's have a little look. 1600 ISO. Um, bear me a second. Why don't I like see that shot? Yeah, that's nice. Okay, great. So let's do it. So are you feeling up for it? Absolutely. Okay. Ready. Okay, go, go, go. All right, Matt, I want you to come back around just into this space here. Okay, love it. A uh, bit, bit of minus in here. That's nice, like that. Yeah, love it. Let's do one more. Yeah, check it out a bit, go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. Brilliant. Yeah, just, that's it. just look at each other. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. Let Nicky down. Yes, it's all done now. Yes, all right. You don't have to show how strong you are. It's okay. Nicky's not heavy. <laughs> Great. Come on, guys. Let's go over here. I like to have vertical surfaces that people are leaning against or horizontal surfaces. The important thing is to transfer the upper body weight into somewhere or something. It's fine for models to stand in open space and have a natural relaxed pose. But sometimes with um, people who aren't familiar with having their photograph taken, it can feel awkward. Whereas if you can transfer the upper body weight into a vertical surface, suddenly it just relaxes them. That's why you'll see a lot of the pictures that I'm shooting, you'll see um, sort of walls and textures and things like that. So um, where I've got a curved wall like this, I want to use that because it will add a bit of geometry rather than just a flat space. And so I'm going to use this pillar as well to, as a, a sort of a go-between. So we've got a sort of divided picture. So Chris, I want you to come over to here um, and just lean on the pillar here like this here looking this way and Johanna I want you to lie, be here but just scoot down a little bit so we get a little bit of diagonal into your body yeah and it's quite nice actually to take your bum you know bum off the surface it's quite good lift it up rather than in and it just makes it neater and smaller so that's good yeah that's nice like that so I'm going to come back to here because I want to be square on and I want to get some of the geometry and the design that we've got the architects put into here into there now Chris I want you to look keen very cute, and Joanna, I just, you know, play hard to get, all right? That's nice, love that, yes. That's a nice design there, like that there, and yeah, gorgeous. Just gonna do one more, I've got a little bit of flare in coming from the left, and yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it's gonna come in for a couple of little close-ups, yeah, and I'll just shoot to here, yeah. Just into there, just to camera, yeah, that's nice there, yeah. Great. Johanna, just close your eyes and down to the, or down to the side, actually. Just do, down, down, down to the side, but leave your eyes open. And Chris, you're looking to camera now. Yeah, yeah, that's it there. Love that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Take a look at these. It's quite a divisive bit, but it brings in some nice horizontals and verticals into the picture there. Um, got a few frames to choose from. That one's perhaps a little close on the 35 mm frame, so I won't be selecting that. Um, but if you look at the, the architecture, this lens has pulled that in and the curvature has been great. So it, it curves down and around underneath and up and over the top there. And we've got some nice diagonal into the picture too. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'll just come this way a little bit. Um, just rotate around this way. Come around this way. That's nice. Okay, guys, just ignore me. We just look at each other. Yeah. It's gonna come in here. Just getting really close now. Just 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 drop your head into there. That's nice there. Loves that. Into eyes to camera for me, Joanna. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Okay. I'll just rotate around so this is the first thing. I just want to get a shot of looking this way. So there. That's nice. Nice there. Just turn your head in, in a little bit more. Just into there. That'd be 
no it's not. Yeah, get a nice wide shot as well. Okay, both of you just looking straight out across to the street there. That's nice. A bit more energy, Chris, come on. That's it, lovely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to camera, to camera, to me. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. I'm going to do a little shot from this side. You know, are we just looking to each other? Oh, I love the light here. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. So when you're shooting in wet weather, sometimes it works just have an umbrella and just start shooting, get different ideas, um, direct things, allow things to evolve and develop. When people are in love, there's an energy that comes with that and uh, get people together and that energy overtakes all other environments. So get some beautiful pictures in all weather. Thank you very much. Here's another one of my little spaces I like to work in. Um, if it's raining outside, I always come into little bars and, and places in Bristol and uh, we, we shoot inside. It's quite nice to do that. Um, this one here is just a, a stairwell, very common sort of environment to be in, but it's a sort of a wall of glass one way. Of course, it presents its own problems. I can shoot here with the light from the window, which is the most obvious way to work, but also I like to shoot into the light, so I'm going to do a little sequence probably towards this way as well. Um, now Chris is quite tall, so um, I need to make sure he's going to, if I have him here leaning against the, this railing here, his head's going to be up on this and it's going to be interfering with the shot. So what I'll do is I'll get Chris to sit on a floor here. In fact, Joanna as well probably, I'll work something out. Um, we'll shoot into the light, give it a couple of stops up on, on what the camera would want to do. And uh, then we might do a little sequence on the stairs as well. So I try to get two or three shoots done in one small space. So let's make it happen. So Chris, I'd like you to just come into here for me. Just lean back in onto there. So the light is great actually. Just put your arm onto there. And um, I quite like this as a nice sort of lead in. That's looking good actually. Chris, just, have, just looking out the window. Um, I'm using the, the Fuji X100. Um, I'm using Aperture Priority, uh, Auto ISO. The camera's going to do the, do the work for me. Okay, uh, Joanna, come on in. I'm going to get you um, just to slink into uh, to Chris here, but we'll put your head on this side here and just facing that way. So come the other side. That's nice. And just, oh, you're tall, aren't you? You've got those <laughs> killer heels on. Um, yeah, that's fine. And just rest your head into here like that. That light is just beautiful. And Chris, just what I want you to do, rather than me looking out, I want you to now sort of look, to, look in towards Joanna. But I just rest your heads down into there. That's quite nice there. That's gorgeous. Just feel that. I like that hand there. And just put that to there. That's nice there. Brilliant. I'm going to put a little bit of plus into this. There. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm just going to come into here. That's it. Yeah. What we're trying to do is to get the chemistry right. So bringing heads in together, so there's a sort of falling into each other, brings the, the relationship together as well. So it's really quite nice, rather than pulling away. That's good. Yeah. Just look at each other, just be together. That's it, that's nice. Yeah, love that. Thank you. Okay, right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot this way. So Chris, I want you to sit on the floor here with your legs that way. And Johanna, I want you to sit here um, with your legs this way and lie back into Chris's lap sort of so you're lying back into his lap rather than sort of you know on, on your back yeah that, that's that's good let's see what happens yeah that'll work now I'm going to scoot down here now Chris is how I'm going to make it so your feet don't look so big um uh might get you to sort of tuck your legs behind you that way does that make sense yeah that'll work yeah and bring this leg up a bit otherwise it looks a bit yeah that's good love that now look at each other yeah, I think I'm going to put a little bit of plus in here. Um, plus on the camera, that's good. Um, oh, I love that. Yeah, so I need to go. You can see on the back of the camera here that um, I need to be, at the moment, it's, it's on aperture priority and F4, uh, I, uh, ISO 200, but I'm going to crank up the uh, compensation, exposure compensation, by plus two stops, that's fine. Yeah, that's not. Now, Chris, your left hand, mate, so let's just bring it to there. Yeah, that's fine. Lovely. And just look at each other. Ignore me, that's good there. Keep the feet, shoes in there, nice reflections, keep everything level, and boom. Um, just, oh, that's great, spot check that. Look at that, 
there, look at that there, straight from there up to there, perfect, that's nice, great, okay, have that one, okay, let's come over here, so uh, Chris, I'd like you to come over and sit on this third step here, third step up, great, excellent, and just open those legs, Chris, you're going <laughs> to sit in here for me, Johanna, okay, just get yourself comfortable, and uh, when I'm using stairs like this, if we have uh, one person one step above the other, then we get to create that lovely diagonal, we've also got the same height and the same steepness of diagonal, we're running through the the banisters, because the, the pitch of the stairs is the same as the pitch of the banisters, and so that helps the composition of the picture. Um, we can also work, if Johanna, just lean back a little bit onto there. Now we can work at wide aperture and get eyes in the same focal plane as well. I'm going to work at F4 still, as, as I have done before. Um, I'm just using exposure compensation on the top, this little dial here, plus or minus, until the picture looks right on the back, I'm using live view. It doesn't get easier than that. Um, I like it with the iPhone and I like it with the, the X100, it's great. So I want you just to lean, bring, bring your head in a little bit there. And Chris, nice and strong to camera for me. Yeah, love that. Yeah, that's great. Nice compositional balance. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it's just a nuts of hot for me, so I'm going to take that down minus two thirds on the exposure compensation. I haven't actually had to take a picture to do this, this is great. So it's not like a feedback thing, it's sort of feed forward in a way. You get to see what the picture's going to be like before you take it. That is the great benefit, one of the great benefits of working over an SLR. With an SLR, you've got to take a picture, then look at it, change your compensation, then take another picture, and then check the compensation's right. With this, you can see what you're getting before you even press the button. Brilliant. Okay, let's shoot. Um, that's it. Okay, that's, that's warmth. That's it, Chris. A little bit happier, Joanna. Enjoy your man. There you go. Yeah, lovely. Excellent. Gorgeous. Take a look at these. So here we've got little sequence here. Let's see where we can go from here. Just nice for energy. That one not so good there, but that one's great. I can just go in and just check I've got it sharp. Yeah, exactly where it needs to be, pin sharp. Okay, so this is a really good tool for that sort of thing. I've got the nice diagonals. Uh, we've got all sorts of going on. This is the first shot I had. I thought the hands were too big here. It led into the picture nicely. So the geometry is good, but I didn't feel that shot was really the angle I wanted to do. So um, I ended up shooting it as, uh, as a horizontal instead but I'd be happy with one of those. So we've got a little sequence on the, on the stairs here, maybe just one shot out of those I'll, be happy, I'll, I'll take through to an album. Um, I've got a little sequence sitting on the floor and there's a sequence to the wall with just the window light coming from the side, perfect. Just maybe four or five pictures for an album in one minute, two minutes, easy.